Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces. Today we're going to be playing on God Clovey or God Clovia. I don't know how exactly you pronounce it. God damn it, Jason Blunder, why do you make mobs so hard to pronounce? But anyway, we are going to be playing some God Clovey, and this is going to be a, like a proper high round attempt on God Clovey. Currently around 65, and I'm live streaming here to currently 300 viewers. So thank you, you guys, like you 300 people that actually are taking that like time out of your life to actually watch some random ass weirdo from the internet, you know, like me. <laughs> but anyway, nah, nah, nah. S seriously, thanks guys. You guys are the best. I I literally wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you guys. Like I like if YouTube wasn't being successful, then I wouldn't I wouldn't do it because there'd be no point in it. But anyway, anyway, the new round's starting, and I don't know if you can hear sound at all. Wait, why is it just reset to two viewers? What the fuck? What the? What the hell? But anyway, um, well, this is six, let's go. Now, hopefully you can hear sound. I messed around with some settings, and, um, yeah, guys in the chat, can you also tell me if, um, if sound is alright? Like, if you can actually hear the sound? Like, if, the, if you guys in the stream... Can hear the sound, and I'm pretty sure that the VOD can hear the sound. Anyway, let me just pick up a nuke. It's gonna get rid of zombies, and it's gonna speed it up a little bit faster. And uh, yeah, so we're doing the strategy that nearly everyone does, and it's basically to be inside the, this room. It's basically in the console room where you have to place the fuse into it to activate all the consoles around the map. You know, basically to allow you to go to the back ones, basically. So we've been in this room. And, uh, and yes, it's actually a really, really good strategy. We have dead wire. I know people thinking, why the hell do you have dead wire, huh? Well, the reason I've got dead wire is because it's real, real good for XP. I know it only kills like I don't know, like seven zombies at a time, like usually. So sometimes it can kill at least twenty zombies or something like that. But most of the time, it just kills like seven zombies, which is not great. But um, we have dead wire. And yeah, and also Deadwire is like it's one of the repacker punch power ups that you get out of all of them that you can use so many times. You can usually you can you can use like so many times in a row. It's like unreal. You can it's, it's, you can just use it a lot. So we got all these zombies behind us. We're just gonna train around. We have a death machine, and now we can just kill these guys. We're not wasting ammo, and we are also killing a good amount of zombies, which is just fabulous, bro. It's fabulous. Let's just uh, try and kill you. There we go, because you're probably gonna fuck us up later on. But anyway, anyway, I've got perkaholic activated, so that's good. Um, I'm only gonna end up using my Cuda this round because it has blast furnace, and it's gonna help us to get through the round a lot fast. And just it will literally be the worst idea ever to just decide to go to a pack of punch just to get rid of dead wire. I mean just think about that, think about that. High round going to pack a punch to just to try and get blast burning even though we don't have a really really bad thing already. Right, let me just throw monkeys. Throwing monkeys Here we go. Right we have max ammo, so that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Get rid of you guys and um reload up and pick this up. Nice. So that's gonna explode. Nice. Alright, come on. Come on, zombies. You know, don't try and rape me. That's just goddamn rude. Now, one reason why this is also the best strategy is because it's literally right next to the zombie shield. It's right next to it. And it's also right next to the Vesper, which is a gun that you mainly use in Shadows of Evil. But it's made a, it's made a comeback, bro. It's made a comeback, and it's now in the mule kick room. Give me with those wine grenades! Right, come on. Come on, just train around, just cruising for a bruising. I mean, it's basically what I always do. My shield's nearly broken, but that's alright. It's okay, it's okay. We're not gonna dwell on that too much. We're not gonna dwell on that too much. Um, here's on this has it going? going good? going bad? Right, come on. Right, nice. You gonna give me some more with those wine grenades? Yes, you are. Hmm, this is why I love you. This is why I love you! Right. Blah. Oh shit, yeah, I need to remember that doesn't actually kill zombies. 
it it just it just slows them down a little bit. It, it, yeah, that's it. Basically, sort of sucks them up, but not really. I mean, one of the reasons that I love the Raygun Mark Three is because it it bas it basically is a skill based weapon. You you can just decide to you know spam shoot, or you can you know just throw in one of those orange bomb type of things, like one of those torpedo type of thing uh, type of things. Or you could just shoot the torpedo, shoot at the torpedo, and then it just create a wormhole like the ghost device. Which is just awesome sauce. It's it's like a tactical type of weapon. Now we've got our shield back, that's good, because it did break. Thank you for whoever said that in the chat. You are a legend! A legend among legends. I cannot thank you enough. Right, come on. Zombies just a fucking mind your distance, mate. Right, get rid of you. It's real easy to kill them fuckers. Them fuckers, you know, them fuckers gonna die. Right, hey, uh, right, gonna kill you. Yo, what up, Dan? How's it going, Dan? How's it going? How's it going? Thanks for joining in for $2. Thank you, I appreciate it, bruh. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You're an awesome dude. Uh, I'm just gonna read it. You are a legend among men. I love you. Okay, this got very, very sexual, you know. This got very, very sexual. Um, <laughs> but no, 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 no. Respect. By the way, you know, thanks for putting that in my chat. I appreciate it, you know. You know. But you know, I'm not a YouTuber that's not really appreciative. I mean, that's just a. That's just a YouTuber you just don't don't want to meet. Whereas me, bro, I'm not I'm not the most caring YouTuber you'll ever meet, bro. Bro, don't don't deny it, bro. We have a we have a connection. <laughs> we have a connection. Can you feel it? Yeah, yeah. It's called Wi-Fi. It's called Wi-Fi. You use it. You use it for YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not sure if you noticed, but you know that's how that's how people watch YouTube videos these days. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all about that Wi-Fi life, you know. All about that Wi-Fi life. Well, Prison Break seven three six. By the way, I'm not even playing on my account. I'm playing on uh, on one of my friends' accounts actually, and uh, and yeah. So um, this isn't even my account. And how the hell he he like plays some zombies to be nearly level a thousand? I don't even know. But uh, but yes, anyway, anyway. But um, but yeah. Um, can you shut the manager off oh, for fuck's sake? Oh my god, that is literally one of the most. That is literally a comment I always see on my channel. It's like, they're not saying, like, this is basically most YouTube uh, YouTube comments on my channel. Hey, I loved your video, by the way, check out my channel. It's like, why can't you just say that you enjoy the video? Why does there always have to be a catch for it? It's just like, bro, just say you enjoy my video. Why do you have, why do you say, like, bro, I'm not going to subscribe to some random ass dude's channel. Like, I don't even know, you know? It's like, I'm not calling you guys who enjoy my videos and comment on my videos like like random people, but it's like in all honesty, I don't I don't know you guys, right? I mean that's why I love connecting with you guys on Twitter because I can get to know you and you know I can understand my fan base a little bit better. But it's like when when I see a, like, even if it's just one out of many YouTube comments on a video, it's just like the fact that there's that people comment that. It's just like I absolutely hate that people, you know, comment. Hey, enjoy your video. By the way, check out my channel. It's like why can't why can't you actually why can't you actually say that you enjoy the video? Why why do you just have to you know lie because half of the time it's lying for views. Why do you just have to lie that you enjoy the video? By the way, this is wrong in it. Why do you have to lie that you enjoy the video? Just to think. That that I'm going to be dumb enough to subscribe to your channel when I literally don't even know anything about your content or anything about you as a person. It's like, yeah, that's why I've got Twitter. That's why I've got Twitter, so that you guys can connect me with me and I can connect with you guys. So, um, so yeah, that's why, that's why I've got Twitter. O also because, you know, everyone has Twitter. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. But I'll connect with you guys. That's what Twitter's for, to connect with people. Um, but but yeah, I mean, I absolutely just hate seeing someone just comment that on on my channel. I mean, half the time it is lying. Hey, I enjoyed your YouTube video. Half the time that's just lying to think that I'm dumb, 
like because you think I'm going to be dumb to subscribe to your channel when you put by the way subscribe to my channel I mean I, I fucking hate that it's just like I'm not going to subscribe to your channel if I know nothing about you I mean I may I may subscribe to your channel if you actually tell me more about you but if you just if you're just saying subscribe to my channel I'm, I'm never going to subscribe to your channel I mean just say why can't you just start off by saying hey nice video then connect with me on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram you, you know just connect with me in some sort of way and then you know sort of try speaking with me and you know that's mainly, that's like one way how YouTube friendships start right where is this round I don't know but that's mainly how YouTube friendships start from one guy commenting on another guy's video one guy replying or like one guy um, you know searching one guy on Twitter it's just like that's that's mainly how it how it starts but you, you can't just rush into something and say yo that was an alright video by the way subscribe to my channel I've got like bare content oh, oh it's just why can't you appreciate someone's content for what it is why do you why do you why, why, why do you just have to be, you know, just a complete dick? Right, give me more ammo. Give me more fucking ammo! Bruh! These guys fucking with my life! But yeah, that's, uh, that's run over, I guess. But it's like, yeah, yeah, long story short, don't comment, subscribe to, to my channel, is, you know, like, like, don't, don't be, like, a fucking dick, and say, that was a nice video. By the way, subscribe to my channel. Like, no, just don't do that. Right, that is round good. Yeah, it just pisses me off, man. Ah, uh, it basically pisses any other YouTuber off. I get if you're a small channel and you're starting out, but you want to gain traction. But the best way to gain traction is to, you know, basically do collaboration videos or, you know, just take advice off of people's videos I mean I didn't have the best starting like start off to this channel or to YouTube as a whole I mean I had to learn from what my viewers wanted to be able to sort of connect with them and to you know also make better content I mean I've invested like a decent amount of money in YouTube I've invested like you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of UK pounds into YouTube I mean that's what I've done, and it's it's like to to get better on YouTube you need to have good equipment, right? You you just you gotta have good equipment. But um, but yeah, I mean to get in traction on YouTube, do collaboration videos, connect with your fans, and you know maybe like connect with other people as well, and maybe they'll subscribe to you. But don't just rush into something and say, "Bitch, subscribe to my channel." It's like just just don't do that. Don't do that. Yo, Dan, bruh, you donating again, yo, five fatty dollars, bruh, bruh, you're gonna make me rich by the end of the stream, <laughs> no, I'm joking, bro, much love, much love, oh, we have an insta kill, I'm gonna take your face, and I'm probably gonna take a new, just to, just get through around a lot faster, uh, should we do it, yeah, let's, let's do it, nice, there we go, 550k points, how, um, by playing a game, like, an incredibly, Long time. I I played it for like a long ass time. A long ass time. Right, nice, nice, nice. Get a few, get a few insta kills. There we go. Nice, not doing too bad. But she's doing pretty all right. Like pretty awesomely. Right, okay. Now we're gonna have to turn him around. Come on, just uh, step back a little bit. There we go. Whoa, the sneaky place. I mean, this map. I mean. When when you think about this map, you've got uh actually no. When you think about all of Black Ops Three maps, there's a certain uh, there's a certain skill level to each one. Uh, Gollard Clovey is like the um, like probably the most hardest Black Ops Three map because it's close quarters. Um, it's a really really complex type of map. There's you know you know talking about the layout. There's you know you. The Easter eggs more tricky than all the other ones, and um, yes, yeah, it's just more of a difficult type of map. Zetsubou no Shima is a type of hard and easy map. The Eisenblaha is an easy map. 
uh, the giant is an easy map. Um, Shadows of Evil is a easy and sort of hard map. And um, and yeah, that's that's basically that really. You know, zombies stand your distance, bruh. Stand your distance. No one likes you. No, 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 no. Bro, don't cry. Don't cry about it. Right now, she's got more ammo. That's what I like. We've got to have more ammo. It's, uh, it's just the way it is. What strategy are you in? I'm doing the Vesper. The Vesper room strategy. Also, keep both doors shut because the strategy won't work if you've got all doors open. Like, both doors open. Like, the only door in this room that you want to have open is the one that's coming right from Juggernaut. Like, that's literally the only one that you want to have because if you got if you got like a different door open, it'll fuck up the strategy. No! Blah. Oh, see, see what I mean? You can get trapped like really, really easily on this map. I ain't about that life. I just, I, I ain't about that life, bro. Bro, just, bro, mind your distance. I don't like you. I don't think anyone does. <gasps> shots fired. <laughs> yeah, man. All them shots been fired. How do you feel? Bro, stop taking my widow's wine grenades away from me. Please. It's very, very disrespectful. Right, now I need to throw a monkey bomb and try to stay alive. You know, just do that. Take another one. There we go. Give me some widow's wine grenades. Please. Yay! We have more. That's just like fucking fantastic. Here we go. Right, nice. Let's uh, let's uh, go. Yep, uh, you know you want to. Mm, yep, mm, yep, mm, yep. Back on. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Let's fucking have it. Right. Um, I'm gonna have to do some mad training skills, bro. Some mad training skills. Right, come on, let's go. Let go. Let go around here. How's it going, Scott? It's going fucking fantastic. I'm also feeling like really, really good as well. Because, to think that it's two days away, like from, from when I'm streaming this, guys on YouTube now. I mean, for all I know, you could be watching this in 2020, it's like, two days away from what? But, to think it's two days away from the release of my first single, that's just fucking amazing. And I want, I want to thank John, Jim, and Patricia at Record Union for actually giving me this, opp this opportunity. Like, thanks guys, I appreciate it. But in two days from when I'm feeling, like from, uh, you know, from now when I'm streaming this, my first single is going to drop on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play Store. And it's called Win Win. And, um, like, the reason this opportunity is, is also, like, a massive opportunity is, is because I'm already working on two different songs as well. I'm already working on two other songs, which is just, it's mind-blowing. And yeah, like I said, I don't I don't think it's too emotional. <laughs> but it's like thank you guys over at Record Union for actually making this possible. You guys are fucking legends. You deserve a fucking medal. You guys have the MVPs. I will never forget it. Uh what's the song called? It's called Win Win. It's called Win Win. It's a single, it's not featured in any other styles, although I am actually working on my first song that's actually gonna be featuring another artist in it. Uh his name's Hook. Uh, mainly, he's mainly called Huckler. I, I, I have no idea why. I don't know if that's a, an association with Hitler, or if he's just called Huckler because of some random reason. I mean, for some random reason, I, I thought it'd be a good idea to name my channel Yamishas, because the reason I chose Yamishas is it, because it was a random name. Nobody would have ever chosen it. It would have, you know, been original, been, you know, been unique, and it would also have been sort of catchy, like you know, the Yamishas legend. It's like, it's easy to say, it's easy to spell. And, you know, people will know you for your name forever. You know, it's basically how people call the Syndicate Project Syndicate. He's mainly known by Syndicate, not the Syndicate Project, if, if you know what I mean. So, uh, so yeah. Right, okay. Right, is this, is this actually round now? Is this actually round? I don't know. I don't know. You have some guy Tony in my chat. Um, nah, nah, it's actually a channel called Tony on Twitch. It's actually a channel called Tony. N no, no, well not just Tony, it's, it's a channel called Some Guy Tony. But, yo, how's it going? How's it going? Fancy, how am I doing? I'm doing pretty fantastic. 
Thank you for asking. But uh, I'm doing, I'm doing cool. You know, you know, you know. I'm doing good. I'm doing bad. How you doing? You doing good? Doing good? You not doing good? I mean, please, please tell me you're doing good because if you say you're doing bad, right, is all you have anything, have anything positive to say apart from book up, kill zombies. You're having an amazing time, like a roller coaster. I don't know, wait. I don't know, there's not that many zombies spawning in, and it's like round 67. There's gonna be like a million zombies just spawning in. Right, nice. Shield's broken. I have claimed my awesome thingamajig god, Tiamat Moor. No, anyway, anyway, how's it going with the YouTube money? You know, it's, it's, it's all about that bling, bling, bling. No, no, but seriously, I mean, I'm basically set for the rest of my life when you think about it. I'm basic. I'm basically set for life because I have my own uh, clothing line, which is selling like 300 shirts slash hoodies slash jackets like a week, and a week I'm earning like a hundred, like a hundred quid ish from like what I'm s no no not just a hundred like a hundred and fifty ish, which is pretty decent. Off of YouTube, I'm making sort of like fifty like fifty UK pounds. Um, a week, um, no, no, like two weeks or something, and you know when I'm like I'm doing music now, and, and I'm put, I'm, I'm probably gonna be making a decent amount of money off of that. Now I'm not talking about this just to brag or anything. I'm I'm mainly talking about this because it's like I'm I'm mainly set for life. Well, not like really set for life because it could go downhill at any point. But it's like I'm I'm basically set for like the start of my main life, you know what I mean? It's like if I right now, if I saved up like three or four months were like worth of what I'm earning out of everything and put it together, I put I could probably like buy my own house. So it's like to know that I'm gonna be like to know that I'm successful and like when I actually do move out and actually decide to go find a house and stuff then I'm I'm gonna be able to like get my own house get my own food you know get my own furniture and you know just like get get myself some little presents or like some like something to just give myself it's, it's just it's just thinking about that I am actually sort of successful it's just it's kind of good and it's like all this just started for me doing fucking YouTube, so you know. All this started for me doing YouTube, and don't want to get emotional again, but thank you guys for actually making it possible for you know me to do this as a job because it's, it's sort of like my job. I mean, I'm still I'm still going to school and and things, you know. I'm still going to school, but it's like I, I sort of treat school as a as some guy would treat it, like a a work like a, a job. You can take time off of it. Now, now I know school does teach you stuff, and you know that's why I'm going to school just to learn, um, just like get information about other other things. And you know, if I want to do something different as a job, if you know YouTube or you know like this goes downhill or something, then I can you know just go and go get a job, and I'm gonna know lots of things about it, and I'm gonna be interested in it because one thing I keep on saying is. Life is short to live the same day twice. So, if you don't want to do something, don't do it. I mean, life is fucking it's it's fucking short. I mean, it's tragically short. I mean, it's like we. I mean, when you watch a fucking TV show, the species that are living for thousands of years, uh, you know, like I don't know, sci-fi fictional series. Then, it's like how how come how come our lives are so tragically short but anyway I mean when I say I'm gonna treat school like you can with a, like a normal job is basically I'll take time whenever I want to take time out of it if not I've been by that and it basically means if I'm gonna be recording for like I don't know a music video or I'm just gonna be like recording lines or I'm way behind of, on YouTube videos then I'll miss like one day or something to try and make lots of videos and uh, and and yeah just 
you know, I mean, some people are going to be like, what the fuck? But it's just like, school doesn't really teach you that much about the country you live in. It doesn't, it doesn't teach you about what laws there are in your own country, which is like a massive thing. It doesn't teach you how to get a job. It doesn't teach you how to pay a tax. But I'm going to go there to learn things about different jobs and to, to learn things that I'm interested about in case I want to, I don't know, maybe start my own business. Even though I've sort of got my own business, which is my clothing line, and reason it's sort of like a business because people are helping me out that I'm paying, and um, and yes, it's sort of like a business because I've got people who are sort of working for me, uh, in a sense. But it's like it's this it's, it's like it's like that, you know. And um, and uh, yeah, so so yeah, bro. Actually, we got our max ammo here. <laughs> yeah, I feel I feel happy. I feel happy, bro. But, um, anyway. Oh, round 69, bro. It's about to get so sexual in the chat. <gasps> but everyone's gonna be like, bro. Which one's gonna be on top? Which one's gonna be on the bottom? Which one's gonna do with licking? Which one's gonna do with sucking? <laughs> bro, if you, if you like a little kid watching this video, then. I don't. Please, excuse my French. Right, anyway. Um, but but yeah, I mean, school doesn't really teach you about a lot of stuff. But I'm going there to learn things about jobs and, and stuff in case I want to, you know, get a job that I'm going to be interested in, you know, in certain areas. If I want to like found my own multi, like I don't know, international business or whatever, then then yeah, I've got information about it. But you know, still I'm gonna I'm gonna like take days out when when I want to, so I can actually focus on. Uh, what is my main priority at the moment doing YouTube because the reason I'm going at my, my main priority is because I, I'm making money out of it and you know from like from a standpoint like if, if you were an adult living living in a house and like living in your own house that you have rented out or whatever then it's like you need money to, to go buy food right you need money to pay, I don't know, car tax or, you know, tax in general. If you were to do YouTube and have your own house and not make any money out of doing YouTube, then, you know, you're sort of in a, in a predicament, <laughs> you know. It was like, I'm, I'm, the reason it's my main priority, I've got, a, I've got people who enjoy doing, doing what I do. Like, I've got 900 people, like nearly 900 people on YouTube who enjoy what I do. I'm making money off of, off of what I'm doing, which I'm doing good, but I'm also still going to go to school. But I'm also some days not going to go to school to focus on YouTube. If if you know what I mean, still going to go to school, but sometimes I'm going to take like a day out or whatever um, to focus on making videos, editing them, and uh, yeah, because people do 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 this as a job and they're really, really successful. Look at PewDiePie for example; he's the most subscribed uh, subscribed YouTuber in the world, and. Um, you know, he's got to focus on YouTube because if he just decides to stop making YouTube videos, then how the fuck, then how how, how the fuck is he gonna like you know pay for fucking rent and stuff? And also, one thing why I actually think PewDiePie is actually a fucking awesome guy is because when he shows off YouTube money, he does it in in a joke that you know most of his fan base will will understand. But also, he could choose to, he could fucking choose to um. I don't know, buy a fucking mansion or whatever, but he, he decides to actually rent out an apartment, which it's weird because he's making millions a year, so, so it's, it's, it's like that, but anyway, let's get off the topic of money, let's actually talk about some fun shiz. So how was your day, you know, was it good, was it bad, was it good, was it, was it not, was it not good, was it, was it, was it god awful, I mean, tell me now bruh, tell me now bruh, how was it bruh, was it good bruh, was it bad, bruh? 